Hey folks, this is Bill Brelsford, and I wanted to share a tip with you uh, that might save you a lot of time if you use LinkedIn, uh, particularly if you use it uh, when you're preparing to go to networking meetings. And when I'm talking about networking meetings, in this case I'm talking about those one-on-one -on -one type of meetings where you um, meet with, um, could be somebody new, so often it's with a strategic partner, and not only are you learning a little bit more about each other's business, but you're also trying to figure out uh, who they may be able to introduce you to and who you may be able to introduce to them. And uh, a lot of times when people do this, they will prepare for these meetings by going to LinkedIn and looking up the, uh, the profile of the person that they're going to meet and then look through their connections to see who they may know um, uh, that they may be able to introduce to us. And so um, let me give you a quick example, it might be easier. So let's pretend I'm going to go meet my friend Dan Stout. So I'm here in LinkedIn and I'm going to uh, start typing Dan's name in here and he shows up. So if I click on his name, which this is I think how a lot of people do this. So I'll click here and it will take me to Dan's profile. And then if I see that Dan, Dan's a well-connected guy, he's got 500 plus connections. And so if it, when I click on that, it takes me his, to his connections where it is showing me um, about 10, yeah, 10 connections at a time here. And so then I can page through and see who Dan knows and this might be, um, this could be a very time consuming way to go through. Then if there's someone here that I don't really recognize and I want to know more about them, um, you know, if I hover my mouse, uh, let me do one of these up here. If I hover my mouse, I can see a little bit about them, but I can't see, for instance, you know, if I'm not familiar with this company, I don't know if that is a Kansas City company or in another town. And so if that's important to me, then I have to click through or look at their profile to get some more information. Um, so that can be a very time consuming process. Um, so let me show you a different way to uh, get to this list where you can do some filtering. So if I go, and again, if I type Dan's name in the search box again, uh, and now instead of, whoops, sorry, I have to actually spell his name correctly. <laughs> instead of clicking on his uh, on his little profile picture here, I'm going to click on the search icon of the little magnifying glass, which is going to take me to uh, some search results, and you see Dan's right there at the top. And uh, the other way I could do this, and the way that I uh, talked about doing this in the uh, in the blog post that this video is part of. Is, is I could start by just going right to by clicking on advanced and going to advanced search and then when I get to advanced search I could type in Dan's name here and then I could search and that will take me basically to the same place so once I get to this screen where I have uh, Dan's information right here you'll see a little icon that represents uh, Dan's connections and when I hover my mouse over it, I get the tooltip that says View All Connections. And so if I click on that, then I will get a search results that have uh, all of Dan's connections. And from there, I can do some other things to filter out. So as you can see, I'm connected to Dan, so I'm here, and I have a lot of, Dan knows a lot of people that I know. And so that's why I have all these first connections here. So one of the first things I might want to do is come in here and say, I only want to know second connections. And again, these are my second degree connections. So if I check that box to filter it, then I'm going to see people that I have a second degree connection to. And I have that connection to them through Dan and maybe some other people. Uh, so again, if I click, um, here's someone that only has I have a secondary connection to, I have one shared connection, and that shared connection has to be Dan. So, uh, uh, happens to be Dan. So if this is someone I would like to meet, then I would just ask Dan to introduce me. And I can do other things, like if I um, only want to see Kansas City businesses, I could filter that way. Um, if I was looking for people in a certain company that I'd like a connection to, I could do that. Uh, industry, you know, if I wanted to um, only meet 
people in the financial services industry, I could filter that way. And as you can see here, these uh, groups or these filters that have the little gold icon, those are available to you if you are a, um, uh, if you have a premium or a paid account. And so if, again, if it was important to you to only look at companies of a certain size, uh, you could do that. If you wanted to, um, let's see, I think seniority level will tell you whether they are a, uh, uh, the CXO is whether they're CEO, CFO, CTO, Chief Technology Officer, um, or if you wanted to look for VPs um, or those types of things. So as you can see, hopefully you can see that rather than uh, trying to page through one-on-one -on -one or asking someone to download their contacts so you can look through them in Excel, um, using these filters should uh, allow you to narrow down this list very quickly uh, so that when I have my networking meeting with Dan, hopefully I can get, uh, instead of just having to ask him in general terms, who do you know that fits this criteria, I can then ask him specifically, you know, can you introduce me to these uh, six or ten people uh, who I think meet my uh, target profile and you are connected to it in LinkedIn. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call and, or contact me um, here on my blog. Thanks.